Newcastle United have secured Chelsea at home in the next round of the Carabao Cup uh, after beating Wimbledon 1 0 here at St James's Park. After uh, postponing this game for a, uh, for a whole week, we have, we've secured it. I'm feeling pretty happy. It wasn't the most thrilling of games. That, that's absolutely fine to me. I, uh, I'm just feeling pretty good. We've uh, we're just we're kind of cruised through a little bit. Sai, si, how are you feeling? Yeah, it doesn't really matter about the performance in this one. It's just about getting through in the cup, and we've done that without really any any bruises or cuts from it. That's yeah. the best way I can describe it. Yeah, it was a little bit frustrating to watch at times. So then you realise that was definitely by design. We were being very patient. Yeah, yeah. Wimbledon got 11 men behind the ball and made no attempt to to make a game of it. So. In that sense, the fact that we got the goal, the fact that we, we won the match and, and got through is is enough for me. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's not much more to say about the performance, really. I don't want to get too into, into the details. Well, I, I think the thing for, about the performance to me is, like, you know, you're, you're seeing all these comments on, like, your socials and whatever, and people saying how boring it was. But that you're, like, you're right, it was by design. For me, it was, like, quite cruise control. Yeah, um, that is not... A team that's going to be tired on Saturday. I know that we're not going to play that exact team on Saturday against Everton anyway, but that is not a team that's going to be tired on Saturday. They they just cruised it in the first half. Even though even with the majority of possession in the first half, they had um, something like eighty five percent possession or something crazy like that. And um, and and still, it's not exhausting. It's yeah. not just like it is. It was just it was just kind of relaxed. Let Wimbledon tire themselves out because they're going to they're a league two, they're top of league two, but they're a league two side and. Um, and that's just what's going to happen and um, it's, fi- it's fine it was yeah. fine that's kind of how I feel about it yeah take it for what it is it's minutes under the belt for a lot of players who haven't played much this season you know Miggy and Longstaff getting getting full games Asulu we've got to see him yes, he's got really. a really good song um, I don't it's know if a, you can hear it it's an Arsenal one. Oh, is it well yeah, yeah. It, was, it was fun yeah, um, yeah uh, Livermento getting a, a good stint um, we've got to see our um, record signing goalkeeper <laughs> make, a, make his debut so that was, that was nice and interesting didn't do anything but um, yeah I think you just got to take for what it is I think all the subs felt very planned Bruno getting 30 minutes because he's still trying to get a sharpness back didn't have a pre-season yeah. Cher getting nearly a full game because he missed three games lest you forget um, yeah. so yeah everything felt like it was it went to plan tonight it wasn't a great game we, we've won with a, a much deserved penalty given in the old fashioned way not by the ref but by the linesman flagging it yeah. but yeah other than that Asula towards the end actually made himself quite busy and well, I thought yeah. he was you know it was a, a few moments of uh, there's a player in there um, well that's what I was going to say I think you know if you're looking at uh, look, looking at this game for positives and I think there are a lot of positives we're through in the cup for God's sake um, Asula really grew into that game um, you know shaky start he had a really good one on one moment with the keeper really early on in the game um, but he just didn't have a left foot and he couldn't he could, just couldn't didn't finish it and it was sort of like oh it'd be good if we had a striker who could strike but um, he grew into that game he's very fast he was very fast tonight and that was really like good to see I think that there's a player there he's still very young um, so he's not. I don't know that he's going to be our first choice ever. But it, like in this sort of game, in cup games to to come, perhaps he is going to be either an off the bench good option or or someone who starts the game. I was quite impressed by him. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think uh, in the second half we saw uh, Lloyd Kelly playing as left centre half. Yeah. And I'm going to be honest. I think that's his position. He looked much yeah. more assured there. Uh, Lewis Hall is definitely our best left back at the moment. And yeah, Tino's got a fight in his hands for right back, and that's that's it. So. Um, yeah, the only other thing I noticed from today's game really was that we dicked around a lot with set pieces. And again, probably by design, there was an awful lot of short corners. But if you're ever going to try things, it's in a game like this. So again, yeah. some of the people around me were getting very frustrated at the, at the short corners and not getting the ball in. But I don't mind trying things like that against Wimbledon. Why not? So, um, yeah, it was an experimental game, an experimental team. I'm OK with it. Yeah, it's not the game to get frustrated by. It's that we've won, we've got a penalty, and that's how we won, and that's fine. And if we hadn't got the penalty, we would have scored another goal. We would have found a way to score another goal. We had a good bench. What this game's also said, is, is t- taught me, taught me, is that we have um, a squad. We, we could really influence the game. We just shut them down when we made the substitutions in the second half. They just had nothing there. So I'm feeling fine. It's through in the cup. We're going to host Chelsea just after they host us, and I'm feeling really positive about the future for Newcastle United. We'll leave it there? Yeah. Thanks. Come on. Thank you.